For years, the prevailing belief in global tech and policy circles was simple. Without access to the world's most advanced semiconductor manufacturing tools, China could not keep pace in the race for artificial intelligence supremacy. With U.S.-led export controls tightening around critical technologies such as extreme ultraviolet lithography, and with Western companies dominating the sub-7M process nodes, China appeared to be locked out of the future. The consensus was that without these tools and nodes, building competitive AI processors was impossible. And yet, in 2025, something unexpected has happened, something that has forced the industry to re-examine its assumptions. Huawei, one of the most heavily sanctioned and scrutinized tech companies in the world, has unveiled a chip that defies the limitations previously thought to define the semiconductor industry. This chip isn't just another incremental improvement or a minor iteration on past designs. It's a fundamental departure from the traditional roadmap that has guided chip development for decades. It's called the Ascend 910D. This processor is not built on the most cutting-edge node. It doesn't rely on EUV tools. Instead, it represents a breakthrough made possible through design innovation, advanced packaging, and system-level architecture. While most of the industry has focused on cramming more transistors into smaller spaces, Huawei has focused on how to make those transistors work together more effectively, even if they come from relatively mature manufacturing processes. At the heart of the Ascend 910D lies an audacious idea. Instead of one large monolithic processor, Huawei has constructed a silicon module made up of four separate high-performance AI compute dies. These dies are fabricated using SMIC's 14N and improved 7N nodes, technologies considered outclassed by today's 3M and 2M processes. But rather than seeing these older nodes as a disadvantage, Huawei has leveraged them in a novel architecture that turns limitation into opportunity. The four compute dies are integrated into a single package, spanning an extraordinary 2,660 square millimeters of silicon real estate. This is not a conventional multi-chip module where components are loosely connected. This is a tightly orchestrated architecture where the dies communicate through a custom-built, ultra-fast, low-latency interconnect that allows data to move between them with minimal delay. The result is a configuration that behaves more like a unified processor than a collection of separate chips. To keep these compute dies performing at peak levels, Huawei has surrounded them with 16 stacks of high-bandwidth memory, or HBM. These memory stacks are vertically connected through advanced through silicon vies, ensuring that the compute cores are fed with data fast enough to prevent bottlenecks. This architectural cohesion allows the 910D to handle extremely complex AI models with impressive efficiency. Huawei claims a performance gain of up to 300% over its previous generation of processors, a leap made all the more remarkable given that it was achieved without access to leading-edge process technology. This jump in performance, accomplished using mature nodes, fundamentally challenges the belief that node scaling is the only path to more powerful processors. But the benefits of this design aren't just technical, they're economic. By building four smaller dies instead of one large monolithic chip, Huawei significantly improves manufacturing yields. Large dies are notoriously prone to defects. A single imperfection can ruin an entire chip. By contrast, smaller dies have higher yield rates, which means less waste and lower production costs. Huawei estimates that this approach reduces manufacturing costs by as much as 40%, an enormous competitive advantage in an industry where cost per performance is a critical metric. This achievement also carries deep geopolitical implications. For years, U.S. export controls have focused on blocking China's access to advanced manufacturing equipment assuming that this would prevent the development of world-class processors. But Huawei's innovation suggests a different path. is not only possible, it's already here. By designing around the need for EUV and by maximizing the capabilities of China's existing fabrication infrastructure, Huawei has produced a high-performance chip that is not only competitive, but potentially transformative. This moment represents a fundamental shift in the logic of global semiconductor strategy. For companies like NVIDIA and AMD, which have dominated AI hardware thanks to their ability to harness the most advanced nodes from foundries like TSMC and Samsung, 
The emergence of a serious competitor using mature nodes and advanced packaging introduces a new threat. Performance is no longer defined solely by transistor size. It's now just as much about how those transistors are connected, how workloads are managed across cores, and how data is moved between compute and memory. Huawei's approach demands a reevaluation of the entire semiconductor hierarchy. The 910D shows that you can bypass the bleeding edge of lithography and still reach high-end performance through creative system architecture. This development is likely to accelerate investment in packaging technologies across the industry. Already, NVIDIA's latest GPUs make heavy use of multi-die packaging and high bandwidth interconnects, but now that strategy is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. This chip is also a statement of intent from China's technology sector. It signals a transition from imitation to innovation, from following existing paths to forging new ones. Huawei's rhetoric around the Ascend 910D frames it as only the beginning, a foundational step toward even more advanced AI hardware platforms. The company has already hinted at its next generation Rubin Ultra, which could push performance and efficiency, but this path is not without obstacles. Manufacturing large multi-die packages at scale presents significant challenges. Interposer defects, bonding failures, and thermal management issues can all reduce yields and impact reliability. Packing so much compute power into a dense form factor also generates a tremendous amount of heat, which must be managed with extreme care to ensure long-term stability. Then there's the software. While the hardware is now competing on a global scale, Huawei's MindSpore software platform is still growing and lacks the maturity and widespread adoption of NVIDIA's CUDA ecosystem. In AI, software frameworks, developer tools, and integration with machine learning libraries are just as important as raw silicon performance. Huawei will need to continue investing aggressively to make MindSpore a viable alternative for researchers and developers worldwide. And of course, there is the ever-present threat of further sanctions. As the U.S. government becomes aware of this new strategy, one that relies on packaging rather than lithography, it may expand export controls to target materials, substrates, or bonding tools used in multi-die assembly. The regulatory landscape remains volatile, and Huawei's ability to maintain momentum will depend in part on how quickly and effectively it can insulate its supply chain from future disruptions. Still, the achievement is undeniable. The Ascend 910D stands as a testament to what is possible when constraints are turned into catalysts. It redefines the contours of high-performance computing. It offers a blueprint for self-reliance in a time of fractured global supply chains. It challenges the assumption that advanced capabilities are only achievable through the most advanced nodes. Huawei has taken what was supposed to be a dead end and carved a new path, one paved with ingenuity, architectural precision, and the boldness to question long-held industry truths. This processor is not just a response to sanctions, it is the embodiment of a new design philosophy, one that sees the system, not the transistor, as the key to progress. And that changes everything. If this story of innovation under pressure reshaped how you see the future of AI and semiconductors, consider sharing this insight, subscribing for more content, and joining the conversation about what comes next. Because the race is far from over, and the next chapter is